hello and welcome to Tiny Tales at Tea Time. I want to start this afternoon by saying well done, well done, you've made it to half term. Well done, you've made it through the last six weeks. Whether you are somebody who is learning at home or whether you are going into school to do your learning or you're a parent at home trying to homeschool your children whilst uh, coping with all the rest of your life, whatever that looks like. Perhaps you're a grandparent or just a member of our community. Well done. I wonder how you have been enjoying the cold weather and the snow this week. I'm not a huge fan of the snow, it has to be said. This is a picture of me taken on our walk on Monday. You can just about see my eyes so I didn't fall over. A friend of mine, uh, somebody on another, on a, on a message board forum that I'm part of asked me where I was for it to be so cold and how cold it was. I said, I'm only in South London. She said, oh, I'm in Canada. Uh, and you look like I do when I go out in minus 40 degrees. So um, I felt a bit pathetic. I wonder if you've enjoyed the snow. Perhaps you built a snowman. Perhaps you had a snowball fight. My girls really enjoyed scooping the snow off the tops of walls and throwing it at each other. I wonder if you fell over or whether you went sledging, so purposely sliding around in the snow. Even in the snowy weather, we can see signs of spring. And I wonder if next time I talk to you, we will have seen more of spring coming through. Well, it's time for our story. Our story today is told by a magpie. He sits high up in a tree, a sycamore tree, and he sees what's going on. And he sees and meets a man called Zacchaeus. And Zacchaeus meets somebody even more special. Shall we listen to the story and see how it goes? Today's story comes from Animal Tales by Nick Butterworth and Mick Inkpen. And today we are going to read the magpie's tale, the story of Jesus and Zacchaeus. Hello, I'm a magpie. I live in this sycamore tree. You see the gold ring I'm holding in my beak? I found it. Well, I pinched it really. I used to have lots of stolen things in this nest. Not anymore. Let me tell you the story. It all began yesterday afternoon. It's a hot day and I'm sitting out in the sun guarding my soul, stolen treasure. Suddenly, I hear the sound of people laughing. Down below, a large crowd is gathering. That's odd. Usually nothing happens around here in the middle of the afternoon. The people have lined up along the street. They seem to be waiting for someone. I wonder who it is. He must be important. Look, even Zacchaeus has come out to see. He's the short, fat man who lives in the big house on the corner. Nobody likes him much. He collects the taxes. They say he's a cheat. Zacchaeus is too short to see over the crowd. He's trying to push his way to the front, but he's too fat to squeeze through and the people and I won't let him pass. They're pretending not to notice him at all. Nobody likes Zacchaeus. Look, there he is. Now, he's coming over to my tree. He's climbing up to get a better view. But his short legs won't reach the branches. He's puffing and panting and going red in the face. Quickly! The important man will be here soon. Go on, Zacchaeus, you can do it. What do you think? Is he going to be able to get into the tree? Let's find out. Just in time, Zacchaeus scrambles into the tree. The crowd starts to cheer and everybody presses forward. Hooray, here comes Jesus. I can just see his face through the leaves. But who is Jesus? Doesn't look important at all. Not like a king or a general. By the look of him, he's not even rich. He's just an ordinary man. Jesus walks up to my tree, stops and looks up through the branches. <gasps> Perhaps he's spotted my treasure sparkling in the sun. Does he know I stole it? What does he want? Zacchaeus 
Zacchaeus, come down, says Jesus with a laugh. I'd like to stay at your house today. Zacchaeus nearly falls off his branch. What a surprise! Why would anyone want to stay with Zacchaeus? Nobody likes Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus climbs down and Jesus says hello. It's very strange. He speaks to Zacchaeus like an old friend. The crowd doesn't like it at all. Why choose Zacchaeus? He's a cheat and a thief, says one woman. Now, Zacchaeus speaks out loud for everyone to hear. I'll give half of everything I own away, he says, and everyone I've cheated, I'll pay back four times over. The people are amazed. What's happened to Zacchaeus? He's like a different man. Since then, I've taken back everything I stole. The things from her nest have been turning up all over town. The gold ring is all that's left. I pinched it from the big house on the corner. Zacchaeus left it on the windowsill. He'll be pleased to get it back, I should think. Welcome back. I wonder, did you enjoy that story? I wonder whether you have any questions about the story. I wonder who you most identify with. So who do you think you might be in the story? Are you Zacchaeus hiding up the tree wanting to see Jesus, but also knowing that you haven't always done the right thing? Are you the crowd who think that Zacchaeus isn't worthy of going, uh, of having Jesus to come to his house? Are you Jesus looking out for the person who's hiding away, who's on the edges and inviting them to come and be with you? I wonder what you would do if Jesus spoke to you. I wonder how your life would change. Zacchaeus' life changes. He realises what he's done wrong and he pays back all that he owes with interest. I really like the bit at the end where the magpie returns the ring. He is inspired by Zacchaeus. I wonder, is there anything that you need to say sorry for? Well, I'm going to say a prayer in a moment to finish our tiny tales before we sing and dance again. And if you like the prayer and want to make it your own, you can say Amen at the end, which just means, God, I agree. You ready? Let's sit still, close our eyes if it's helpful, and focus on God. Dear God, thank you that we can learn all about you through stories and songs. Thank you for our tiny tales at tea time. God, thank you that you see us even when we don't want to be seen by you. That you call us by our names and you say that you want to be with us. Help us to say sorry for the things we've done wrong, knowing that you love us and you forgive us and you want to come and sit and eat with us. Amen. Have a good week. Kevin's going to be with you next week, telling you another tiny tale at tea time and I will see you soon. This is the light of my